Selling digital products on Etsy is a super duper popular way of earning passive income. Unfortunately, most people give up too quickly because they simply aren't finding those products, especially if you're a newbie, it's extremely difficult to find products that are unsaturated and untapped as well. But if you are looking for inspiration for your next digital product and you're serious about actually taking action, then you are in the right place. I've gone on another one of my deep dives and I'm going to present you with five different fresh and funky product ideas that you can have up in your stores by the end of the day. But before we jump in, let me tell you about my amazing free gift. It's a dot grid editable journal template. Basically, it's going to help your customers to track their daily tasks, their habits, their mood, things like that. It's kind of a bullet journal um, layout and it has different kind of um, niches. So we've got a gratitude log here. We've got books to read here. We've got a birthday log, sleep tracker, um, habit tracker savings tracker so it's really comprehensive it's one of my best selling products this one is made up of 12 pages you can then get um make the decision to add some extra pages you'd need to make some changes to it maybe do a different color palette or change the fonts things like that but it is basically ready made really high quality it's going to be really useful for your customers it's a hot seller on etsy and um this is what I am gifting to you for free. So make sure you click the link in the description. It will take you to this page here, sign up and you will have immediate access. Okay, so product one is an I Spy wedding game for kids. This is another product that is in the highly, highly popular wedding niche. I don't know if you saw in my previous videos, found another niche within this wedding topic. And um, I always like seeing products within that broad wedding niche that are still untapped and unsaturated as this one is. As you can see, there are only 1,119 results. I am based in the UK, so the results may look different wherever you are in the world. But as you can see here, there aren't very many results for this. So what it is, is an I Spy wedding game and it will be for kids to play during a wedding. You know, for children, weddings can become a bit boring, a bit long, a bit dragged out. So this is just a really nice um, activity for them to be able to do. It will keep them um, interested, engaged and having something, giving them something to do. So let's click into one of these. So it um, is basically a one page principle. I love principles like this because they're so quick and easy to put together. Um, this one is fully editable. So you would give your customer the um, option to make the edits. Maybe put um, here looks like they are using a certain hashtag. Maybe the bride and groom want to put their name on it, the date of their wedding. Just a couple of extra customizational bits here. But the aim of this I Spy wedding game template is to basically go around the wedding table, the wedding room, and you will basically look at this list and then find those things that they are asking you to take pictures of. What I also like to see on this first page um, that is, is quite good is that it's actually not every product here is targeting that I Spy wedding game for kids. We've got an activity page, um, activity kind of book for kids here. We have um, I Spy, just general I Spy sheets. We've got wedding activity book, wedding bingo. Um, we've got a treasure hunt. Um, we've got like a murder mystery game for kids. So basically what I'm saying is that not everything is completely targeted to this I Spy wedding game for kids, which also then denotes to me that it is an untapped and underserved niche and if we are able to come and put something together that is directly targeted to that keyword we are going to be able to compete um, with these other listings so when we're going over to my um, tool my research tool of choice this is sales samurai really amazing tool to give me um, insights such as the etsy search volume the type of competition coming back for the type of keywords that i'm looking for um, it's really great for um, other ideas for products and I use it a lot very heavily when I'm doing my Etsy um, research so with this keyword it's I spy wedding game for kids the Etsy search volume is is 223 which is really good and the competition is a tiny 172 now when it's the competition it is basically the products that are directly targeted to that particular keyword and as you can see it's not very many at all um, I usually like to go for anything that is under 2,000, 2 to 3,000. So this is way, way under. It's in the early hundreds. It's an, some amazing numbers here. 
And yeah, this is something I would definitely um, suggest you get into. What we, what I also like to look for are the other like Etsy most trending keywords, because then this is a really great way of maybe finding additional or complementary products that you can then maybe bundle up with that iSpy game. Um, you can also look at the Google most trending because, you know, Google is the biggest search engine in the world. And so it's really great to get some additional ideas. But coming down here, we see that the top listings for this particular keyword. So it's always good to open these up, have a look at the look and feel of them, how they are laid out, how they've been made. Look at their descriptions, their titles, their tags to give you some inspiration as well. Then I like to look at these tags here. I will then take out the relevant ones and put them into my listing. Oh, and if you are looking to jump into the wedding niche um, in the quickest way possible, definitely visit my website, creativemamadesigns.com. Just go to search, type in wedding, and then you will be given an option of a kids' wedding activity book template. Um, it can, you can either choose the PLR rights one or the MRR rights, which is master resale. It's a really amazing template, very, very popular. Um, it's for kids, it's for them to use at the weddings to keep them occupied. This is ready made, ready to sell and um, a really great way um, of jumping into this particular niche if we wanted to. Now, this next product um, is for all the parents out there. Um, I could definitely use this in my own home life with my kids. Behaviour chart with consequences. Um, this is um, something that I would never have thought of myself. So I, I love coming across niches like this. Basically, this consequence or reward chart kind of behavior tracking is like a tool that I guess would be designed to promote a uh, positive behavior, um, accountability and responsibility for children. And so it's through a chart. So let's click into one of these to um, get more of an in-depth knowledge as to what it is. So it's if they carry out a particular action, which is negative, not, you know, some bad behavior, then this is the consequence. So you've got, if they haven't completed their homework, there'll be no screen time for that evening. If they're talking back to parents, they will have a loss of a privilege. Um, if they're not following the bed correct bedtime routine, they will have to go to bed early. So what it is, is a way of the child knowing exactly what they're going to, what is going to happen if they um, are, are badly behaved. Um, and so I think it's actually a really um, helpful tool because sometimes us as parents, we um, are always saying, oh, don't do this, don't do that. If you don't do this, that's going to happen. But sometimes we forget what we've said and then we are not following through with the rules of the house. And then so it's it really will be great to um, ensure consistency when you are raising your children. So, yeah, this is a really great one. Looking over at Sales Samurai. Um, we've got Etsy search volume of 467, which is fantastic. It really means that people are actively looking for products such as this. But the Etsy competition is so low at only 274. This is a fantastic niche. Such good, good numbers here. Um, and then we've also got the other ideas. So if we wanted to make like a behavior um, or rewards bundle. So my initial thoughts would be maybe to bundle this behavior chart with consequences with a reward chart with consequences. So if they have done something really good at school, then this is what you will get. You will get to choose the film for the night or you will get to go to the cinema for the week over the weekend. You know, so that that could be a really good idea to bundle that with something else. Um, when we are looking at the tags, this is also a really um, great place that you would go to get those tags to put into your own listings. It's your title and your description. And then definitely open these up. Look at how they are arranged. Look at how they're laid out, what they all have in common, and then use that to build your own product. OK, so if you have made it this far, well done. You're serious about building your digital product empire. This next one is a doozy please watch till the end. Okay, so we have 3K saving challenge. Everyone is always looking to save as much money as we can. We are in a credit crunch at the moment. So whenever we can save money, we will be looking to save money. And now it has brought on a whole um, cascade of products that people are looking for that are not necessarily being served. So this one is a very particular keyword, 3K saving challenge. And it only has 1,070 results. Now, as you can see here, we've got a mixture of principles and of physical products as well. As you can see, it's super duper um, simple to make, really easy. Let's click into one. 
So we've got 3K Savings Challenge. It is just um, an arrangement of icons on a page and each number denotes um, a monetary amount. And then all of these numbers then I guess would add up to 3,000. So for, you know, once you save up 25, the first 25, you would cross that out. Then another 25, cross that one. If you've saved up 50, you add, cross that out. And so you just cross it out as you are saving up those those different monetary amounts. Really simple to put together. It fulfills a niche. The price is ridiculously high for something like this. Five pounds, which is probably about eight dollars for just a single page that anyone could probably make themselves. But that is the beauty of digital downloads. I would say that that is quite expensive for what it is, but it is serving someone's need. And it means that they don't have to go out and get on the computer and put something together themselves. As you can see, some people might want to frame it, have it up on their walls so they can look at it. You could even re um, redo the niche. So it's like 3K vacation fund savings goal. You can allow the people, it could be a vacation fund or it could be a 3K wedding savings challenge. So there's lots that you can do to make it really unique and tap into sub niches within this savings challenge niche. Now, let's look over at the numbers and sell samurai. 3,694 search volume. Absolutely insane. And the competition is only 254. Please run, do not walk run and get this up in your Etsy store today. If we are looking at the Etsy most trending, there are several variations of this keyword term. We've got 3K savings challenge, we've got 2000 savings challenge, um, 3K savings challenge bi-weekly. So I am going to be, I would definitely suggest to scour all of the keywords that are coming up here that are being returned to um, maybe make a whole bundle of different savings challenges and trackers. Then we can look over at Google Most Trending. This is going to be really important for us um, to just make sure that we are tackling all those different needs within this niche. Definitely pay attention to the tags again and use the ones that are relevant. So this is the doozy of a niche. Um, it's going to be so easy to enter and it, the returns are going to be really amazing. And if you are really wanting to get into this niche and you want to do it in the most painless way possible, then please do have a look at my savings tracking bundle. It is an amazing resource. It's going to mean that you can get this up in your own store within the next hour or so. It has a whole range of different savings challenges, lots of really cute graphics, savings tracker, holiday fund, house fund, dream fund, wedding fund. And if you, what you could do is you could provide an edit, editable version of this for your, your customer to maybe change that out from college fund to maybe school fund, or it could be emergency or miscellaneous fund. This could be um, instead of car fund, truck fund, or, you know, so there's so many things that you're going to be able to do with this. It's ready made, it's ready to go. And um, considering the numbers that we've seen over on Sell Samurai, it really is a niche that is untapped, under, un, underserved, and is ready to make bank from. So if you are interested, please do click the link in the description. I am running a sale on this bundle, so snap it up whilst you can, because the price will go up probably in the next couple of days. So please do have a look and uh, see if it's something that you'd be interested in. Next up, we have daily affirmations for teens. This is an affirmation card niche aimed at teenagers, um, young people, um, it's basically positive affirmations, motivational sayings, quotes, things that they can use in their everyday life. Really lovely niche. Um, and there's just many different ways you could go down this. Um, we've got 60 day kindness challenge affirmation cards. We've got kind of boho themed affirmation cards. Um, really lovely um, kind of terracotta type colors. Um, teen anxiety coping affirmations. Um, so there are lots of different kind of sub niches that could be targeted towards this niche. You could make a set of cards that are aimed at um, maintaining a positive body image, or it could be um, cards that are gratitude quotes or gratitude affirmations um, for teens. So there are lots of different ideas that you could do within this broad affirmation card for teens niche. There's some really lovely products here. Um, and it's just really quite a, a really nice and fun niche to go into. When we're looking over at the Sales Samurai figures, we've got search volume of 52 and we've got Etsy competition of 340. 
this is what I, what I always like to see as as well as that um, we've got a click through rate of 13% which is amazing which means that when people are coming to the these product pages they are invariably buying through um quite often more often than not they are making sales if you're on this first page so it's definitely something that you will want to um, investigate further if we're looking at the most trending um, there are complementary kind of products like affirmations on candles we've got affirmation printables affirmations for kids so this was the teen niche but you could go down the kids niche you could go for affirmation cards specific specifically for women or even aimed at men um, so there is the affirmation card niche. It sells really well for me because there are just so many different products you can create and everyone needs good affirmations, positive um, thinking and things that will help them to remain positive throughout the day. So it's a great niche to get into. Last but by no means least, we have one that um, kind of confused me a bit because I wasn't quite sure what um, it this keyword was about when I was just doing my um, general research. It's LBB cookie order form. I'm guessing it was to do something with Girl Scouts. Um, as I did some more research, it looks like it's just an order form um, that Girl Scouts could use. We've got some really cute order forms at the top here, which are very colorful, but they're not all super colorful. Some of them are just black and white. And they're just, if you look into it, let's click in. They are just very simple um forms order forms so we've got budget tracker here we've got client intake form price list custom order form and so that one you know is providing quite a few pages these are eight pages in this document but some of them they literally are just the one page on its own this one is just one page and it's you know really lovely layout i love the graphics i love the kind of watercolor feel of them uh, i love the colors but it is again it is just a um an arrangement of boxes on a page with some labels but it is it is providing value within this particular niche it just means someone doesn't have to put this all together themselves so there are lots of different options here really nice interesting niche to get into and when we are looking over at sales samurai the numbers are phenomenal 3630 search volume with only 116 competition Again, like the previous niche, the savings challenge niche, this is a fantastic one that you simply must get into now. Um, if we're looking at the other ideas for products, we've got cookie order form, cookie door hanger, cookie receipt, thank you form, flyers. So there are so many things that you could bundle with this cookie order form niche. So you could have the order form, but then there's lots of other product ideas that you could bundle up with that and then command a higher price point. So this is definitely another one that you need to get into now. So that's it from me today. I hope you've gotten some value from this video. Please do click the links in the description if you want to know more about Self Samurai. Also, make sure that you do have a look at the savings challenge bundle that I have available, which is at a special offer at the moment. It really is going to be such an amazing investment for you if you are serious about building your digital empire. Also, if you want to check out the wedding activity planner, that link is in the description as well as um, the mega elite product bundle that I have, which has a whole range of different products. Such an amazing, amazing investment if you really want to get a whole range of products up really quickly. So yep, check all those links and until next time, all the best.